הכנסת. זה בן איש חי, אינסבוק מקבציאל, מיסס, בית הכנסת has three קדושות, three type of holiness. קדושת ספר תורה. The ספר תורה brings specialty to בית הכנסת and elevates it to one level of holiness. קדושת ארון הקודש. The ארון itself has a קדושה. We're not allowed to use the ארון where we put the ספר תורה for other uses. Even sometimes, let's say, you want to put some books, regular books, in the Aron HaKodesh, up there where you put the Torah. It's not so simple to do so. The Kedusha of Torah, Kedusha of regular books, is different. That's why Aron HaKodesh has also a Kedusha by itself. And another Kedusha, it's called... Oh, אז האצבע זה חלק מהספר תורה, אבל יהיה. Yeah, it's better to put it inside the ספר תורה. כן, on the ספר תורה. And the last thing is, קדושת בית הכנסת. The בית כנסת itself, by being a בכנסת, the people pray here, has a level of holiness. שלוש קדושות. So when a person comes to בית הכנסת, he gets an energy of שלוש קדושות. That's why the בן ישחי say, That a person, and if you are giving respect to the Beta Knesset that has those three levels of holiness, the person that do it keeps the Kedusha of Beta Knesset, behaves here with fear, clean. does everything for Bet HaKneset, whatever he can do, more than in his house, says the Halakha, right away this person, there is a holiness that stick to him from, Bet, from the Shalosh Kedushot of Bet HaKneset. This is what the Ben Ishchai say. That's why he says, ולכן נצטווינו מפי חז"ל להיזהר בכבוד בתי כנסיות ומדרשות לנקותם. We have a mitzvah to clean the Bet HaKneset. So everybody will ask, so there needs to be a shamash, someone that this is his job, yeah? And he will do the cleaning of Bet HaKnesset. Look what the Ben Yishchai said. He says, ואף שאין מנקה או שמש אחראי על כך, כל אדם יעשה בעצמו ולא יחוש על כבודו. It doesn't matter how honored person you are, How many zeros you have in your bank account, or what's your profession, or what you do. They call you doctor, or professor. In the Kedusha of Bet HaKneset, everybody needs to participate. And if you see something on the floor of Bet HaKneset, Mikdashi Tirao, you have a mitzvah to go and pick it up. And if you see that even in Azrat Nashim, in other places, somebody was eating, They didn't put the things back. It's a mitzvah, mikdashi tirao. I told you that Rashi became Rashi because his grandfather used to clean the Bet Knesset with his beard. Nachon? The, all the dust of Bet Knesset. They told him, you have such a kavod, honor to Bet Knesset. With your own beard, you clean the dust. I'll, we give you a nechet Rashi, a grandson that will... All the Torah that people learn, Gemara without Rashi, you can't understand. Torah without Rashi, you can't understand. So this is what the Ben Ishchai say for Bet HaKneset. ולמקום, כי אדרבה זה כבודו לשרש במקום רק בית הקודש. ומצווה רבה תחשב לו, it's a big מצווה. If you're running after מצוות, this is one of the מצוות that you should run for. Now there's an halakha in Shulchan Aruch. Interesting halakha, that today, very hard to fulfill it. The halakha says that your house should not be higher than Bet HaKneset. Did you know that? There's different houses. If the Bet HaKneset is in a certain level, you want a, big, a bigger house. 
מודל בית הכנסת, אסור. It's not allowed. נעשה את זה בן איש חי, however, if there are goyim houses that are higher, in this case you can, you can build, in the area. But if no, let's say everybody Jewish, a Jewish area, and you want to get a house that is a little bit bigger, higher than Bet HaKneset Asur, why? How can the Bet HaKneset, which is the house of the soul, be less than your house for the body? This is another Alakha. Now, the Ben Yishlein Parashat Vayikra, he says in Men Kabtziel, he says a few interesting Alakhot. But I cannot find it. Oh. No, it's not this one. Okay, the Seder. That's not it. כן. כשאתה אומר, זה הבניין עצמו, או שאיפה שאהרון הקודש? חדר איפה שאהרון הקודש. מה זאת אומרת? סתם דוגמא, עכשיו בן אדם יצא מחוץ לבית. איפה שאהרון הקודש, במסדרון. אוקיי. ויש, לא יודע, סוכריה לרצפה, לעטיפה של סוכריה. איפה שמתפללים. איפה שמתפללים. אוקיי. It's right that the building that we have, it's a building that mostly is used for, uh, for synagogue or for school, for, for holy purposes. But you also have a pool here, they do weddings here and other things. We cannot say that the holiness of the whole outside is the same like here. Sefer Torah, Aron HaKodesh, Bet HaKnet, everything is here. That's why Be'emet, every person... How, how we take care of our home, huh? That we have the right uh, chandelier, and we have the right, uh, Baruch Hashem, beautiful table, it will be on place, the chair will be in the place, everything will be in the place. Be'emet, a person should care about Bet HaKneset the same. I'm saying it to myself also. Care about Bet HaKneset the same. According to Be'emet HaLacha, before you buy something to the house, let's say now you want to go to Ikea to buy something new. You have to think, hey God, <coughs> is my synagogue also have it? I mean, needs it? <coughs> you understand? You go buy an air conditioner, but there's no air conditioner but like nice. How can I have air conditioner in my house when there's no air conditioner? People sweat here and there's no air conditioner. Just let's say, okay? A person should think like this. Bet HaKneset should be our permanent house. Ase Torah Keba Melech Techa Arai. Bet HaMidrash. יהיה ביתך קבוע, יהיה יור, this should be your home. ממש ככה. עוד תלמידי חכמים, that's what made them תלמידי חכמים, they stayed in the center of בית המדרש. That's why we have to take care of it. בעזרת השם, this is a big mitzvah, I'll tell you something, every mitzvah that people don't do. Let's say there's mitzvot that people, they, they ignore those mitzvot. Every mitzvah that people don't do, and you come and you do, the reward you get for that is for all those who didn't do. For example, if in Bet HaKneset nobody takes care of the chairs, for example, nobody takes care of the coffee, nobody takes care of the things, and you says, I am going to do this, Sachar Shelo Kmo Shel Kulam. You took the Sachar from everybody else. Always look for mitzvot that people don't do. Also in Kivrei Tzadikim, my rabbi told me, go to the Tzadikim that people don't do, right? The Tzadik will appreciate it. You come to me, people, everybody goes to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, everybody goes to Ariza. But this Tzadik there, nobody, you go to also. You get the schut of this Tzadik. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen.